Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Linda. Today I have another fun schooling. Um, this is fun schooling math for Minecrafters. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, fractions, story problems, number games, building challenges, cube, crafts, and mazes. And um, math skills to master. And on Amazon it says to master by age 12. And the recommended age for this is uh, ages 7 to 12. But if your older kids need it, they can use it as well. Learn about real Minecraft minerals, learning games and activities, Minecraft building, skip counting, dot to dots, mazes, art, comic, logic, addition, subtraction, using a calculator, paper folding crafts, rocks and minerals, story problems, math games, Minecraft coloring pages, fractions, math mysteries, and I love how um, the thinking tree uses the words math mysteries instead of like math problems. Drawing, create your own, your own block. My name, age, date, how to use this book, have a Minecraft world ready for completing challenges. Ask your parent to or teacher how many pages to complete each day. Use gel pens and colored pencils to complete the activities that require color. Always use a calculator to check your answers. No answer key, no cheating. <laughs> math problem guide. Below is an example of some of the math problems that will be used in this book. The apple and the loaf image represent the item type. The X represents how many of the items is in your inventory, not a multiplication symbol. There are eight apples and three loaves. How many items do you have total? And then it's showing it right here. Say it like this. Say it like this. Eat eight apples. Sorry about that. Uh, plus three loaves equals eleven items. So I guess you want them to say it, um, what the items are and so forth. Say the whole problem. Follow the numbers to finish the picture. And it looks like this is skip counting because over here it ends at 144. Minecraft build challenge. And this is your challenge, a hobbit house. Oh, how fun. Go into your Minecraft world and build using the items listed below. One villager will trade one diamond for five gold. How many diamonds do you have to trade in order to get ten gold? Figure out the problem using the graph paper. And you're going to write the answer. And then here is a maze. And these mazes, um, with a lot of the thinking tree, they will go under. Like So this one looks like you can't go past, but it's actually going under. And then here's a comic. You could write going on here. Fractions. Using a colored pencil, color in the cake according to the fraction. Then a coloring page. Create your own block. Use your colored pencils or crayons or markers. And then they don't have anything on the other side so they can color this. If you're using markers though, um, just make sure you have another, either take it out before starting or put another piece of paper between these two, especially alcohol markers. Use glue stick to stick your block together. And then here's a math problem. Using items in Minecraft. What do all these have in common? Emerald in the real world. And you can even look up the emerald and learn a little bit about it. That's a great uh, rabbit trail you can do with this book and go off on. Draw this item the way it looks in Minecraft. Follow the numbers to finish the picture. And again, this one's skip counting. This one starts with six. So it goes up to 12, I believe. Uh, Minecraft build challenge. You need to build three nether portals. And each nether portal takes 12 blocks. So here's another one, another maze. 
Yeah, it looks like he's trying to get some carrots there. There's some image the page of fractions. Follow the numbers, finish the picture, Minecraft challenge. And here's another block that they're going to create. I personally don't know anything about Minecraft other than I know they use what's in like this book. My kids play Minecraft. Oh, look at this. Diamond in the real world. That's beautiful. Uh, so I don't really... I mean, I've seen them play. So that's about as much as I know about Minecraft. Help Steve find his friends. Watch out for skeletons. So again, you could we would go under if you need to. So hopefully by uh, showing the video, his book, a flip through, it will give you an idea if this is something for your child, obsidian. So these are great, um, again, like rabbit trails. You can get some library books or go on the internet and learn a little bit more. And you can even write a little bit about it in the back or put, um, you know, just facts there, a few words here and there. And then when coloring this one, just remember that there's something on the other side, so you don't want to use like Sharpies on that. You want to use more water-based markers if you they do decide to color with markers. Right here it says you're mining for diamonds for one hour. You find 15 during the first 30 minutes and 17 during this second 30 minutes. How many diamonds do you have now? They have the Minecraft challenge, the um, skip counting, a math problem. You have to use the graph paper and then a maze. And they have, um, I guess this is Steve, but you could write what he's thinking or doing, some fractions. And then they have one of the coloring page and then one of the blocks to do. And it kind of goes on over again. That is how this one looks. Let's kind of finish off. We're already eight minutes in, so. Wow, look at this challenge right here. I like this one. It looks really pretty with all this. Create your own block. How fun. And then you get to create another one. Oh, look at this. This is like a dragon. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.